Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be my look for fall. My number one, or my first look that I'm going to do for fall. And I'm starting this in September because for the month of October, I something planned, I did my paint it pink in October, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But we're starting off September with some fall looks and I'm going in I'm going to use this palette right here I absolutely love this palette love it want to use it every day I think if I had to get rid of all of my palettes except for maybe 10 this would be one of the ones I would keep and it's from Be Perfect it's a the Carnival, The Antidote by Stacey Marie. I don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure it's probably a creator. Um, this is a UK based um, brand, but look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, just this speaks anything you want. You've got pinks, greens. Oh, it's just beautiful. Warms. We're just going to go right in. So, I just wanted to just go ahead and go. I've got my little Halloween shirt on that says I smell children with little um, spider webs down the side or down the arms. My little spider web headband. So I'm going to set the primer that I put down, which was the um, Jaclyn Hill Concealer. I use that as my eye primer because it does not work for me as a concealer. It does, however, stand up to as an eye primer. So that's what I use it for. We are finally getting some cooler weather. It's 73 now, but it was 58 this morning when I got up. So, that's good. So, I put on my sweatpants and my, you know, my baggy. It, this is made like a sweatshirt, but it's, it's, it's very thin. It came from Timu. Now, I got that that cream color just kind of laid down. Now, I'm thinking, let's just do a fall, fall, let's go in straight fall oranges first. So, let's see, let's pick up the shade buff. definitely warmed up still it's, it's, it's not humid anymore which that's a blessing because the humidity is what is so you know heat is not pleasant anyway but when you have that humidity when you walk out and there's no breeze there's nothing moving around you it's like you are stepping into a hot oven because there's there's just there's just nothing it's like you're breathing through sludge I, it is unless you are in an area that has this type of humidity it's hard it's really hard to explain you know you have when i was in california it was very hot the numbers showed that it was very hot but to me it was it was it was hot yes but it was bearable 
you know, it wasn't un, it, it wasn't an unbearable heat. Let's see. Got my brushes up here because I need to wash them. It's been way too long since I have cleaned my makeup brushes. I usually clean, clean them after every time, but I've just been using them and putting them and then just grabbing different ones and using them. So, all right, let's see. So I used, <clears throat> I set the concealer with this shade and then I went in with that shade and now I'm going to go in with this shade and then that shade and deepen it with that shade and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put on as the shimmer actually I think I'm going to mix that those top dot ones But I do, I hear people, you know, they say it's hot, and it is, it's hot to them, obviously. But, walking outside, and it's just, when you can't catch your breath, whew, that's a rough feeling, that's a bad, bad feeling. It really is. It's, whew, it's a terrible feeling, honestly. That was really orange, and it was really overpowering, wasn't it? I'm take that first transition shade and buff that a little bit. These these shades are very pigmented. Alrighty, I had to go turn the air on because it was getting hot. As I was talking about the heat. It was getting hotter. Still 75, but I was getting hotter. So, anyway, um, protein water, grape. Side note: so my husband went to. You know, you're getting old. My husband, um, he went with a group of their hot rod friends to, uh, what was it called, the Triple Crown something in Nashville, Tennessee, and just got back, and we don't have a Bucky's near us, but, you know, we've obviously heard it. Well, he hadn't even got there yet. They drove, and he says, he calls me, he says, I got you something. I said, you did? He said, yeah. <laughs> and then... He said, tell me he got me a cup. And then on the way back, he said, I stopped at that Bucky's and I got two more cups. He bought four of them cups home and some fudge. Now, you know you're getting old when you get excited about stuff like that as your souvenirs. Anyway, I thought that was funny. But, so, got cooled off. The, I was, I had to maneuver this shade a little bit it did not come off deep at all on my eyes so I went in with this one and this one gave me a lot more of that deeper um, payoff that I was looking for so I, I went in with that now I think I'm going to go in with this shade over the lid and this caught my eye, this ColourPop shadow. And this is the, the shade that I'm going to use. And this is the ColourPop. Now, this was sitting, I have a little, little. it came from Timu, a little tray. This, this, I got this. It was, um, it was in one of my ColourPop hauls. I don't buy from ColourPop a lot. Be, I just don't. I, it's not anything to do with them, per se. It's just I don't really need anything from ColourPop. But 
they were having a really good sale and I wanted one of the pallets. Anyway, well, Abby's dad and brother Zach are into that whole, I, I don't know what it's called, anime stuff. Well, I guess they did a collab and the box had the anime and all that. Anyway, I got this for Abby. She was into makeup. It was like, I don't know, $2. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to get this, this for Abby. She'll at least have the box and, you know, she can feel part of this whatever. Anyway, well, that lasted about 30 seconds and it ended up back in here. So, and I happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye when I went to get a swallow my drink a while ago. I said, oh, now wait a minute. That's pretty too. So, That's what I think I'm going to use. Okay. I think I might need to wet this brush a little bit. Wet both sides of it. It shows up so much more when you wet the brush. this yellow just kind of see if I can get it to come out and I need to use my finger what I thought oh, I don't think you can even see it don't go on it Maybe a little bit. I don't think so, though. Okay. Hmm. Uh, maybe a little bit. That's all right. I'm just taking what was on that brush and one under there. And I'm not going to wear any eyeliner. I just wanted to do just a grungy, folly look. <laughs> not scratch that for the inner corner let's see I don't think I have an inner corner in this palette that would kind of align with everything else I have going on here Let's try this. I mean, hmm. maybe put a little bit of there, brings out a little bit. It's cute, it's fall. Uh, I'm not going to do anything on the bottom just because I'm not doing a you know I'm not doing a full I'm not doing a full face and I'm not you know testing anything I'm just sitting here playing with makeup <laughs> And I 
just I love this palette I think out of a lot of my palettes out of, out of my big palettes this one has probably been used the most this one and the um, Jaclyn Hill the original one you know I, I used that gracious I've hit pan on several of those but you know this has just been always been one that it's just really easy to reach for I know that there's going to be a color in there I can use um, even some you know there's a pink so all right guys that is going to conclude this little old video my little fall look my day one fall look so as always guys be beautiful be kind and i'll see you in the next video bye